What's up everyone? Today we have this. It's the quick set. Not sure what model. Uh, yeah, we'll drop this in the... It'll be in the title. You would have seen it already. Dang, how come I forgot the model number? Well, this is one of their... Their, uh... Not smart locks. No, it doesn't connect to Wi-Fi. But the keyless entry lock. Um... Today, we're taking it apart. Doesn't work. And we'll be using a drill to make the process faster. I can salvage the smart key core from this thing. I know how to reprogram those. Um, it's very easy. You don't even need another key for this. Especially when it's outside of the lock. And you don't even need the original key. But uh, that's, that's not the point of this video. Right, so here is the computer, I believe. The brains. Right there. Put that aside. And now it's time to start with this. This seems very strong at the front. Well, of course it has to be strong. Uh, prevent people from either drilling it out, kicking it down, or any of that. You can tell it's very strong near the front. That was fast. <laughs> Here's the deadbolt itself. And we have some screws on the interior there. Remove them by hand. So, here is the keypad. That is some pretty thick metal there. Yeah, I should expect that. Depending on this to protect my, my home. Anyway. Let's peel the keypad, the buttons off. Oh, it's attached with adhesive, okay. So it looks like a waterproof cover here. At least to and to reinforce this to help reinforce it. The rubber keypad that you press in your code. This WD forty on it, but all right. Here is the uh, lock core itself, and we'll be removing it. So I go with a flathead screwdriver to pry off a retaining clip. And that falls right out. Good. Really clean, no dirt in there. Let's remove this little tail piece, I like to call it. I'll be real careful about this. Hmm. So, kind of bent this. Let's see if I can bend it back by hand. Hmm. I'll try to repair that later. But yeah, we have gotten the core out. Here it is, just a big piece of apparently molded metal. Now, uh, I'll go uh, wipe my hand. And 
we'll take apart the computer. This is where all the codes are stored and stuff like that. That's just a keypad on the outside. Alright, so here it is. Take it apart by hand because a drill would be a bit much for that. Wow, it doesn't even require two or three, it doesn't even require three turns to, <laughs> to get these screws out. Very, uh, what's the word, short threaded or something. Oh, that pops off. Okay. Should remove the battery compartment first. Should get my brush. There's a lot of. Not sure what that is in here. I'm not really sure what it is. There's this little frame here. I want to remove. It's held in with clips on each side. One, two. That's actually for a networking card, I believe. If you want to turn this into a smart lock. They do sell a conversion kit for, I believe, this model. Okay, I removed the little connector. That probably goes to the motor. And that's what explains these three screws that hold in the motor slash latch configuration thing. The deadbolt itself, the thing you turn. Here's the motor itself. It turns this gear. I'm turning it, but nothing's happening. I'm trying to pop this gear box open so I can see. So I can see what's in there. Get another screwdriver. This might actually be my second time popping open a lock like this. It's like it's got to engage the uh, motor somehow because the gears don't sit too well. Well, by like that. Oh, that turns this on the front, which looks to activate some kind of. You can see it turning, right? Got some kind of sensor on the... Okay, maybe it's here. That could be a sensor, I'm not sure. But let me try to clean off this. There's a lot of corrosion-like stuff on it. Let me get my brush. Here it is. <laughs> it looks like a toothbrush. It's not.
for the program button. This guy is held on with double side tape. The motor is kind of greasy. But that's to be expected. It has to run for a very long time. You don't want to have to tell the user to open up their, uh, their product. But yeah, that's pretty much a complete teardown of it. Um, that's what's inside. I kind of actually did let's see. Is it still here? Yeah, it's right here. I fixed that little uh, retaining clip, sort of. Sort of. It's barely whole now. If it can be removed by hand, then I didn't do it well. But yeah, it should be good enough. I plan to reprogram this uh, for another key. I already have this one from another uh, another door lock that I took apart. There it is. I still have the the core. I reprogrammed it with this smart key compatible one from Baldwin. It's actually the one from that door over there. You've seen it in a previous video. If you have seen it. But yeah, that's kind of it. Also, this can be removed to quickly swap out the networking card, apparently. So yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.